Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Like, success is getting what you want. Fulfillment is living what you're made for. Fulfillment and success, they're not even the same universe. People ask me all the time, what does it take to be happy? And I always tell them it's really simple. <laughs> One word, progress. Progress equals happiness. If you keep growing, you're gonna feel alive. And if you keep growing, you're gonna have more to give. It doesn't matter how many statues, Oscars they give you or Emmys or how much money you have in the bank. We've all seen people had all those things and I get the phone call because they're depressed or somebody commits suicide in that area. It's really an inner game. And I think that's what's missing for us today. Everybody's focusing on the outside world. And hell, there's a lot of things in the outside world you'll never be able to control. You can influence, but you can't control it. This, your mind, your emotions, your body, you have 100% control over what you do with these things. And that's where the game is won. Win the inner game, then you win the outer game. But a lot of people spent their life trying to win the outer game, they won and they're miserable. Someone can tell your whole life you're a piece of crap, but you can say, screw you, read between the lines and make your life work. Someone can tell your whole life you're beautiful, you're intelligent, you're the smartest person in the world, and you don't believe it. Because self-esteem doesn't come from what people say about you. Self-esteem is earned within yourself. It's esteem for yourself, which only comes by doing things that are incredibly difficult, and then your brain goes, this is who I am. You, you really gotta figure out what you're made for, and nobody knows in the beginning. So you start where you are and you do what's in front of you, you do what's next, and you keep growing until you start to discover, hey, this is my real passion. So identity is the number one thing I work to change with people, to expand it. Expand your own sense of who you really are and what you're capable of. And the mindset has to be destroy any limitation and move forward, move forward, move forward. I think passion is the genesis of genius. If you've got enough passion, you're gonna find answers nobody else does, but most people run out of fuel, meaning they get tired, they get exhausted, they get burnt out, they get, uh, you know, the law of familiarity. They're around something so much, they take it a little bit for granted. And I've managed to see something in myself that I found in every great leader that I've ever respected, and that is, I, I, I value intelligence immensely, but I know really smart people can't fight their way out of a paper bag pragmatically, right? What I see is the one common denominator of people that are successful over a lifetime is the sustained hunger. Hunger is the number one factor. You need to be good at pattern recognition, and that's what gets somebody strong at anything. See, what do they see that none of us see? What's the pattern? Then you gotta learn pattern utilization. It's one thing to see it, it's another thing to use it. And then if you're good after a while, you get to pattern creation. It's like if you learn to play the piano, most people play other people's music. And then there's a point you've learned so much that you're able to create. It really comes down to anyone can learn anything if it's important enough to you. So it's like my drive is not just for me. That wouldn't be enough because it's easy to meet your own needs. It's not that difficult. But if you can find something that you care about more than yourself, your daughter, your son, your family, your business, your mission, your community, whatever it is, that's really the secret to energy and vitality and strength and really learning.